the astronaut suit is always the star of the space show, no matter if it's science fiction or science reality. The joy and inspiration we feel when we see astronauts in improved spacesuits is well known, but SpaceX's new spacesuit design is unlike anything NASA or anyone else has created before. The SpaceX high-tech spacesuit. It has so many features such as touchscreen compatibility, dynamic heat control and others that your eyes will not be able to believe. SpaceX's new suit looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, and it's truly amazing how it sets this cutting-edge spacesuit apart from others. NASA's first commercial manned voyage, and the first time astronauts have launched from American soil in nearly a decade, will take place on May 27, 2023 when the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft flies with American astronauts for the first time since the period of the space shuttle a decade ago. Compared to the orange shuttle flight suits worn by astronauts when launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center and every other spacesuit worn by astronauts from other countries, conscientious space watchers would note that Crew-1 bought astronauts and Carly was more than just traditional spacesuits. SpaceX's white one-piece suits are an extremely big change from the bulky space transporter suits. When the new design of the SpaceX suit was revealed, this one was thinner and even more. I had to reassure all the worried followers because they were doubting if this suit is really effective for astronauts, even jumping a vacuum chamber but, before we get lost in the lure of this high-tech suit, let's get this straight. Astronauts wear spacesuits as extravehicular mobility units to protect themselves from the harsh conditions of space, including vacuums and harsh temperatures. A spacesuit is needed for extravehicular activity, which is the work done outside the spacecraft in the event of loss of cabin pressure. Spacesuits have been used and been efficient. Space travel since planetary adventures in orbit from the Earth to the surface of the Moon and back to keep the wearer comfortable and limit the effort required to flex their limbs. Modern spacesuits incorporate a whole collection of technology and environmental systems. The basic pressure garment typically uses a self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system to provide complete independence from the spacecraft. Intravehicular activity wears is one of the types of spacesuit that is used for intravehicular and extravehicular activities and is designed to be worn in a pressurized spacecraft. Suits and Evans are slimmer and more comfortable than traditional spacesuits. It is possible to use a suit both inside and outside the spacecraft such as the Ameni and Echo suits that are more capable of withstanding the harsh conditions of outer space such as abrupt temperature changes. On the other hand the EVA suit is used for spacecraft and planetary exploration there are certainly a variety of spacesuit types and designs but they are all based on the same concept the SpaceX spacesuit on the other hand drastically alternates the situation. While the spacesuits currently worn by astronauts in the International Space Station ISS they are pretty outdated this may be what prompted SpaceX to build an elite spacesuit for astronauts, that spacesuit seems to be something you can only wear in the movies it's definitely, because it is work of the famous Hollywood costume designer. Jose Fernandez known for his work in blockbuster movies such as, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, Captain America, Civil Word, among others, he and the Mons worked together on the design of the SpaceX spacesuit. The first images of the spacesuit were made public in September 2017 with the mannequin called Starman. When first shown at the exhibit the suit had no sensors and was not pressurized. The suit supports vacuum and depressurization of the cabin via a single tether on the astronaut's thigh that supplies oxygen and electronic connections. The design of SpaceX's spacesuits has been kept under wraps, but the company has emphasized that it assumes the suits are symbiotic like the large computer panels astronauts would use to monitor ship systems and navigate to the spatial station. Each astronaut suit is a unique creation, according to NASA the spacesuit created by SpaceX is designed to be practical, lightweight and offers protection against possible depressurization among other features, without looking at the emergency breathing system of the suit's propellers and full pressurized capability in cabin oxygen loss helmets according to the agency road support systems, including air and power connections, are connected to a single oxygen point on the thigh of the truck. The helmet is custom-made using 3D printing technology and includes integrated valves, mechanisms for retraction and locking of the visor, and microphones within the helmet structure. The 3D printed helmets have built-in microphones and speakers. The astronauts who flew the Dragon's first test mission discussed the differences between the SpaceX spacesuit and other spacesuits astronauts have worn in the past. The SpaceX suit differs significantly from the suit worn on shuttle missions and is much lighter and more effective, according to veteran astronaut Mark Lee. At the pre-flight press conference May 1 depressurization that occurs when the spacecraft loses air is still the primary purpose of the suit as a bonus astronauts can count on their suits to keep them well oxygenated and at a comfortable body temperature throughout the day, they can communicate and breathe through an entire umbilical cable attached to the seat as part as part of its contract with NASA.
a pressurized suit has been developed to keep passengers safe during the launch phase excursion for American astronauts. 20's new blue suits are about 40 times lighter and more flexible than previous generations of spacesuits to prevent astronauts from overheating. They have numerous layers of insulation from their bodies it is now possible to use tablets, while in orbit thanks to the addition of a touchscreen and also gear-sensitive gloves. The soft, capsule-shaped helmet has a wide polycarbonate visor to enhance the peripheral vision of Starlin's passengers as they travel to and from space. One of the suits is the Orion Crew Survival System which is identical to the suits used by SpaceX and Boeing however it is much lighter than the orange suits used by astronauts on the space shuttle on the other hand the X or extravehicular mobility unit it is designed to be worn on the surface of the moon and even the pressure suits worn by astronauts on spacecraft are dwarfed by it, as a result a wearer must be protected from extreme temperature changes outside the spacecraft. Micrometeorites and other small space debris are also protected by these, there are two spacewalking suits worn on board the International Space Station. One is Hernan Russian, that was introduced in December 1977, there is only one piece of this the spacewalker can open the backpack like a refrigerator door, so he or she can move inside. NASA's extravehicular mobility suit developed in 1981, that second suit deployed aboard the International Space Station, 